you look cleaner shaved. Yeah. Have you have you polished something or? Like a shower. I know, that's what it is. That's what we've never seen that before. <laughs> it's it's never yeah it's never been done before. Hey, so uh, we're going to be talking today um, about the Lamazoka Lunia Mini. Oh God, they keep making a face already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dust, Jesus. Do you know what? I think has anyone ever done a video on the Lamazoka Lunia Mini before? Do you think? Uh, we could? No, I don't think anyone I, has ever done it. It's uh, it's well, we could yeah. be breaking ground. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Why would we want thing. to do? It's a huh? new thing. No, nobody has ever come up with it. <laughs> Why would it like it's like oh god you know you, we need the clicks let's just go and do a linear mini video all we again. need to do again <laughs> now we haven't done one actually we haven't done one uh, we before. haven't we haven't exactly and until we do it Max it's not been done you're right yeah <laughs> here's our angle because you need an angle otherwise it's just the same as everybody else's we're not doing a review but I tell you what it was I was driven I was asked this question mm -hmm. by uh, a viewer who contacted me and said, should I buy one? And I thought to myself, well, that's a good question because it's literally the first question on Google. It says, people also ask, is the linear mini worth it? Yeah. And the yeah. second one is, why is Lamar Zocco so expensive? The thing is, it's actually not. It's not that expensive. I mean, it is, but it's not. 4,000 pounds. How much? 4,000 pounds. Uh, you get it for take. three and a half. And yeah. um, Bella Barista has it for 3690. There you go. Well, you could haggle with them. By the time you've haggled with them, you know. By the time I haggled with them, I, I, the, the poetry has gone. The poetry. The okay. poetry for, for the coffee machine has gone. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Anyway, look, so it's around three and a half grand, which in the scheme of things, I mean, we're going to talk about it because one of the things that, as a few things came to mind when I was asked that question. Mm -hmm. The first is it's been around for a while. Yeah, it's worth asking the question: Is it still, you know, is it still relevant uh, and up to date? What have they done? Are they mm -hmm. going to come out with a new one? Am I going to buy it and then suddenly, you know, tomorrow? That normally come... happens when I buy things. So we talked it, about it, this. It, you were supposed yeah. to keep me informed of what you're going to buy so that I could not get the same thing until right afterwards. Get the yeah. updated version. I I bought a grind a hand grinder and 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 you immediately bought another one. Yeah. So, yeah, they're actually, you know what, my friend, uh, I don't know if you watched last week's video, my friend Jonathan Jones bought one as well uh, mm -hmm. after watching after watching uh, our video on it. And he blames uh, you. Uh, if anything happens, he definitely will blame me, um, for sure, for sure. Seems fair. Um, but actually, I mean, that, is, that has been a really good grinder, apart from, apart from the rubber that slips on it for me. But anyway, we're not talking about that, we're talking about the linear mini. So, I, so the one question is like, okay, is it is it it's been around for a while what's happening with it um another question is what else is in the market that's come in i guess that wasn't there a few years ago that maybe mm -hmm. is there now that that is um maybe going to be a, a different you know competition because the market never stays still does it, it moves forward things yeah. happen people it's competitive it is a com very competitive landscape uh mm -hmm. and and it's worth having a look at it so i wanted to look at it I suppose in that context of is it still the, the right decision to make? And also two other things happened. Number one mm -hmm. was well, one other thing happened and then I thought also about something else. So the other thing that happened was there's a guy who does a, a, a lot of uh, coffee videos called uh, Prometheus. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever watched any of his videos. He's very good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like him a lot. I like he's very down to earth and I like, I like, I like his videos a lot. And he has a Lamazoco Linear Mini. And he did two things. He did, recently he did a breakdown. Uh, don't go and watch his video because you're watching this one. <laughs> so don't. Okay. People just like close. Oh yeah, I'll go watch that one. But he did a video. Go watch it after this one. He did a video breaking down the cost of ownership of his Lamazoco. Mm -hmm. And you know he was going, well, it's quite reasonable. I have to pay this. I bought that. That was five hundred dollars. And I'm thinking, I've never spent five hundred bucks on that machine, maintenance yeah. wise. You know, he's like, I had to when replace get, the lever and the the doohickey widget and the. Hmm? When you get high high end machines and premium machines, uh, everything starts to ramp up. You have uh, you have higher expenses for even right to, for maintenance. Just it's like it's like owning a German reason. car, right? It's very nice until they go wrong. 
yeah. and you wish you had a Ford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so there was, so, so that was it. And then he was saying, I, I, yeah, I think he was saying in there, he's basically, it's, he's had it five years. He's thinking of moving on to something else. Mm -hmm. I just got to send a bit of a warning bell to Lamazocco. I, I, I got to think, well, but then here's this other point. I said, there were two things. The second thing that I, that, you know, and then I sort of somehow realized as I was thinking about it, as I was cogitating. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because lesser people than me think, X, I mm -hmm. cogitate. Um, right. uh, which sort of implies alcohol or something. I think, I don't know. But anyway, so I was, I was, when I was doing this cogitation, uh, I, I came to realize that, of course, also the Lamazocco Linear Mini is certified for for use in a business like it's, it's certified for i forgot mm. the name of the certification but it's basically uh, from insurance purposes you can you can use it commercially and it's it's good to go for that so it's kind of it's great if you've got like a coffee cart or something like that you want to take it to events because it's it's it can be plumbed in but it's also got the tank mm -hmm. you, can, you can take it somewhere to an event and you can and you can run coffees on it um, all day long but and i thought to myself yeah. So hold on a second. We're comparing this machine to other consumer home machines, mm -hmm. but this is a machine that kind of also, you know, can go out, right? I don't know. I don't agree with that. I think it's, I think it's the, it's slightly different. It's a machine that is suitable for home use that can be used in a business, not the other way around. Yeah, exactly. But isn't that a bit confusing, especially especially when you've got the GS3 for not that much more money. I think a mm -hmm. couple of grand, well, I say not that much more, but it's, right. if you're talking commercially, right, if you're going to do make money from this thing, yeah. you've got the GS3. I would have is, won that in a business. Actually, that's, uh, that's probably a worse choice for a business. Really? It's too manual. It depends oh, because the, 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 the flow profiling. Yeah. You don't have it, to use that, though. You can kind of just. Well, you don't have to use it, but it's there. Um, mm-hmm. So you, it's more finicky. You move it around, you have it in a cart, you're going to move the, 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 the twiddly bit. No, you wouldn't have it on a cart, but you might have it in a small cafe. Yeah, in a small cafe. You know what? In a small cafe, you can get um, a very good uh, dual group head because you probably would want a dual group head. Um, but you can change easily from one coffee to another or from one... Um, those to another that is already there i don't know i don't i don't see these kind of machinery in a busy environment i think we have uh, two different views there are coffee shops and coffees and cafes that make one coffee every every 10 minutes 15 minutes which is cute mm -hmm. that's not how it works coffee is normally busy coffee bars you have to you have to push out um two coffees a minute on average on 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 peak time and that's mm -hmm. where machines were normally designed for now i don't expect this kind of pressure to be around because if you go to a coffee shop you go to a coffee shop you don't really you probably want to sit down you want to enjoy your, your time so it's a, it's it's not as um, demanding as fast, probably as a throughput. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's, there's lots a lot of machine different like places. This, yeah, a machine like this right? will not make many coffees one after the other, and especially it's not meant for that. Input, yeah, and the more input you get, you have to give to the machine. So, flow control, um, flip the switch there thingy, mm -hmm. the paddle, the paddle thing. Also, that is. And you have to babysit it. You have to be on, on top of it. So what I want is, me, personally, is I set it and forget it. Right. That's right. a cafe. But yeah. imagine you're a specialty coffee cart shop place. Yes. And I will, never premium make, I will never do the, the same extraction twice in a row because, you know right. what, you can be as good as you want. You're never going to be consistent so that you do it the same extraction twice exactly the same so because you're listen human. 
Listen, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. And so you've got these two machines, though, that effectively, to me, to my mind, Lamazoko has kind of led them a little bit one into the other. Yeah. Um, in the sense that the the look, the linear mini could have just been a home machine. We're going to make a dedicated home machine. Don't take it out. It's a home machine. And a lot of people who put them on carts, and they put them on carts because it's just it's a couple of grand cheaper than the GS3. Um, they don't, and probably, as you say, they want to have cool. they want to ha yes, they want to have the the theater of moving the paddle, mm -hmm. which by the way also is a you know it's a nice thing to do if you ever move that paddle it's nice although when you hear the click go you kind of just feel like oh yes yeah, pushing the button you know so it's a bit <laughs> of theater to be honest with you but it's a nice it's nice it's a nice human interaction anyway so that they have it for that reason mm -hmm. but my my feeling is okay well are we even like is it even the right thing to do to compare that to to the home machines and i thought well yeah because it's a lot of people are using this in the home right so so the guy that was talking to me wanted to have it at home mm -hmm. and you know is it the right choice for him and i thought to myself well there's a lot of things well there's a lot of th i thought there were a lot of things i thought there were things mm -hmm. that um that that i guess you know the world has moved on the world of coffee had oh, moved yeah. on Time. and there are more options available now that doesn't mean to say of course that the machine makes not as good coffee as it used to. It still does. No, no, it's, it's still it's still um, probably top of the um, top of the game. But there is there is co there is competition now. So they, yeah. they were the first ones or among the first ones to come up with a product that is premium. It looks premium. It feels premium. It's, it yeah. looks really good. It's strange. It's uh, a scaled down version of the Lamarzocco Strada. No, the Strada is no the uh, linear. It's a scaled down version yeah. of the linear. So it's a scaled down version of the linear. It looks exactly like it. So you have the, the, the same shapes. And that looks cool. But it's a scaled down of a commercial machine. Right. It's the same, it's the same thing as the Gaja TD or the Gaja XD. It's a scaled down version of, the, of a two, head, two or three group head um, yeah. machine. Except that the Gaja XD and TD, they look ugly. They're terrible. They they look. I didn't horrendous. want to say anything because I know you've got like a bit of a gadget oh, no, fetish no, but, going I mean, on, but they, they are ugly like, machines. They look like um, um, I don't know if you've ever worked in a kitchen. They look like kitchen. <laughs> it's a, they they started at the top of the ugly tree and then they fell down, hitting every ugly branch on the way down. Yes. And yes. then hit the, and, and they, hit the floor on their face. Yeah. They look like washing machines. You know the ones that you, <laughs> yeah, they do <laughs> you open it and that and that's your that's your coffee machine. That's how it looks. It's ter it looks terrible. Is there a, so, is there a beauty in that ugliness or not? No, or is it just no, ugly? It's just it's ugly, just, isn't it? It's just a tank, so it works really <laughs> well. But you really have to just you approach it like that. Yeah, you don't, don't look it. at it. Don't look at it when you're making your coffee. Yeah, and that's how you get burnt a lot because, of course, <laughs> you know, you know a gas your owner because he's got burns all over yeah, his yeah, hands. Yeah, you just grow up in the dark <laughs> because just... you don't want to see. It. Like that. Oh, that's the steam. The, the steam one. Nope. Do you know, funny enough, talking about the, the burning thing for a second, it's actually somebody pointed out that that was one of the things they liked about the Linear Mini is that it doesn't have that E61 group head. It's got that, uh, that saturated group head. You don't burn yourself, you, you don't touch it. Whilst reaching for things and, and end up Wait, burning is yourself. The, is the Lina Mini saturated group head? Yeah, it's integrated, saturated, something or other rated. It's not an E61. It's 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 it, it sits pretty close to the boiler. I don't know if it's fully saturated or whether it's integrated. Okay. That's slightly because otherwise option. there's no difference from that to the to, to the GS3. Yeah, there is. It doesn't have pressure profiling. And that's it. Well. That is it. I mean, there may be some menu option button things and okay. other things, but yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, and I, and I, and I do agree with that. It's uh, it's something. I mean, yes, the E sixty one group it looks nice. It's a big chrome thing. It looks it looks it looks okay. I I don't really see the point of having this thing just heating up the room. No, I I don't. Um, I you know, kind of funny. My friend, my friend has just bought a a decent DE one. Mm -hmm. And the thing heats up in like 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have any mass to heat up. There's no mass to heat up. It's electronically it heated group head. And, it, I mean, it has a port well, filter, but it's naked. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to heat up anything in there. You don't yeah. need to heat it up. Yeah. It doesn't touch anything, so you don't lose heat. You just Now, 
the interestingly max because this is a segue that on purpose by the yeah, way definitely you know, totally on purpose <laughs> I've, done this, I've done this before uh -huh. is that's in the same price range as the as the linear so so you got to look at your use case right so okay. here's here's the thing the linear mini fantastic machine looks beautiful you get mm -hmm. to say you have a llama zocco which i have to say because i'm a bit of a snob that does appeal to me oh yes. yeah i'm gonna make a uh, my llama zocco uh sounds good right definitely but, but in terms of functionalities you can get a um a, a decent which is the top of whatever you can get it's the best yeah. machine you can get for in terms of functionality yeah uh, it is it is going to be a mess because it will it will drag you into a rabbit hole and you'll never oh, get out God. of it uh, because you, you are going much. to be yeah once you get into that so basically you're not allowed to the decent club unless you're unless you've got a pointy head you're a scientist i mean you'll mm -hmm. fit in uh, you're nerdy no actually no i keep having arguments with uh, with people with decents because because, they all argue. That's the point. Well, what, because they don't know their chemistry often. I, I and I and I just yeah, but mind. they've got the charts to prove what they've done, Max. Yeah, because they all have charts. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's a club I don't want to ever get into. But my friend's Look, really into it. He's he's very he's very tech and very nerdy. Hi, Adrian. Um, and uh, and so it's right. There. He's he's literally he's Instagramming me charts every day. Mm -hmm. I, I'm supposed to read these charts. I I don't know. I, I don't to be honest. It. Does it taste nice? Yeah, that that's a that's a little that's one step too far for me even. And I do like my my extractions. I do like my graphs. And I probably would probably enjoy uh, th this kind of interaction with the machine. Except that it's what I do for a living. So yeah, so I I've don't had enough do of that. that. <laughs> I come <laughs> home for a reason. I'd like to take twenty seconds just to thank one of our sponsors. And if you've not heard of them, I'm going to introduce you to a world of amazing coffee. Peabury Coffee Roasters source and roast some of the best coffees in the UK. I've spent time at their roastery and I can tell you that they genuinely care about every batch of coffee they roast and deliver. Use the link in the notes to get 10% off every order of coffee you make with Peabury. So, so, so no. So no, but, but, so, but, but, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Not only the decent, but now there is a lot of competition. There's a lot of stuff that is in a similar price range. Yeah. Sort of. You have the Eagle One Prima. It's more expensive, yes. That, that's his, his latest graph. Yeah, bugger off. What, what does it actually say, Max? What does that mean? Oh God. One is the pressure. One is uh -huh. the, ex one is the uh, weight of the coffee extracted. Oh, and okay. one is the All flow right. rate. Excellent. The, the blue is pressure. The, the green is weight. The... I just, I'm actually impressed you know that. But what I do. It's what but, you, I do. but you don't do it on the decent. You don't. I no. didn't know you were going to know. No, okay. my glorified coffee machines are, are cost around 45,000 pounds. Do they make a good espresso? I have no idea. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> But no, you were saying that there are there are other lots there are of other, other machines out there. Lots right? of other machines nowadays. I mean, there is the, the Eagle One Prima that is for me is probably the best uh, money can buy. Don't go down the Eagle One Prima, mate. That's it looks I, amazing. It looks it, amazing. It's got all the functionalities. It's no. got all the features. It doesn't it's have all the functionality. Fantastic. It's missing a couple of things. But but no, it is very nothing. But anyway, so that's one. And actually, okay. I think you can brew by weight in that, which is pretty. It's, it's a thousand. If you can brew by weight, it's a thousand pounds more. So it is more expensive. Yes, uh, it's well, a lovely just, looking machine. Exactly. Give so in thing. terms of, I mean, you're spending four thousand pounds and a half. Exactly. So, no, I mean, on average, you're spending four thousand mm -hmm. pounds. Okay. Or four and a half. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Um, there is the. the there are new machines coming up uh, that are very interesting, very exciting. There is the, um, I forgot, the Faema, the Faemina. The Faemina, yeah, which I think fantastic. is very interesting. I'm yeah. really curious of seeing one of those. And we actually, I wrote. Did we work out the Faema. price of those? Did we, did we no, I out? wrote to Faema, I never heard back. So uh, that's, that's on you okay. guys, seriously. I re I'm really curious. I really want to know because I think the machine is amazing. Yeah, and it would be a no-brainer for 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 you. I think. Yeah, and for a lot yeah, of people, I think it would be it would be a beautiful machine. Yeah, it's got so much potential. Yeah, give so me another that, one. Give me so we we've mentioned two. Let me mention uh, one. Let me come up with one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the ECM Synchronica have just come out with a new version. 
Now, just mm-hmm. hold on a second. They come okay. with an early version. It's a special edition. Okay. I really like the look of it. It's a uh, it's a uh, powder coated black mm-hmm. with with wood accents. So if you like that kind of traditional, it still looks like a traditional machine, but it's got a number of features that I kind of learned to appreciate. So the dials are at the top. Um, it's got the mushroom where you can you actually can get it with a connected flow profile lever at the top if you'd like. Mm-hmm. But the powder coated black looks amazing. The dials, the way it holds the whole thing, it's, hey, it's like two and a half grand. It's like two and a half grand. No, 2,700 I saw it for in yeah. the UK, and that's in pounds. Which and it's is- a beautiful looking machine and ECM that's German made solid mm-hmm. you know engineering which makes you wonder why is it so much cheaper than a than a linea mini wow th- this is it right this is exactly I mean, obviously it. it's it's a different it's a different group head that's an e61 well you have to I'd, i'd be interested to know whether it is fully saturated or not because if it is fully saturated i know there's a more expensive to make than yeah. the integrated kind of semi-saturated so that's but that's one of the things okay um, But yeah, I mean, it, you're, in terms of functionalities of output, you're competing with these ends. And you're not competing with the high end. Yeah. Because you don't have uh, whey brewing. Mm-hmm. You don't have um, a lot of control on the group head, on the temperature. You actually have to connect through the app to, to change the thing. Oh, It's- the app. Can yeah. I just say, I, I think that they made the app to try to extend the life the life cycle life cycle the lifetime of it it's so not going to work i want to be able to change the thing there was another one from um uh, sanremo that they made sanremo uh, you well they made the cube not the which cube, is a, but let's they, they haven't made the cube. yeah they haven't made the cube the cube they, they haven't <laughs> made just it. forget they, about they, that Someone's that was a bit of a mistake that came out on the other end yeah the, but the the which one the you the you that's amazing i know And I have a feeling that's going to be in the four grandish price range. So you know? it's, and that's sexy. That is sexy. I th- yeah, I think the, the Linea Mini is an icon. And I do, sorry, no, no, no. I take it back. I do not want to use that word mm-hmm. because it's been used, overused recently and it lost mm-hmm. all sorts of meaning. Um, it's, uh, it's an outstanding machine, but it was an outstanding machine when when he came out so he was a, mm. a precursor a pioneer if you want he was yeah. one of the first ones that actually got you all of these functionalities all of these potential and all of these coolness and yeah yeah unusual yeah. shape it was a aspirational machine we yes. all wanted one but then everyone you know they, they picked they up picked their the game they they, they up yeah. the game and they got they jumped on the train and then actually and now it's you you put it You would put the, the La Marzellina Mini on, um, you know, together with other machines at the beginning when it came out and it would stand out. It would be... It was a no-brainer. Yeah. Be like, I want like, that oh, one. Wow, that was that one. I want that. Now you put it on with the competitors. It's like, yeah, it's another funky-looking machine. It's, it looks nice, but there's yeah. so much choice. Yeah. What does it have better than the others? And... Once you start asking these kind of questions, you realize that it doesn't really have a lot to go for more than others. It doesn't stand out in terms of functionality. So I think they're starting to reach the end of what it's you got to be the end of this life. Do. This is what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking it's the end of its life. Now, I, I think that they... It's the end of the line. Oh, it's the end of the linear. Oh, Okay. Okay, I've the line here, end of the line here. That's what I'll... Choose. No, it literally, it, it linear means line, so... It, oh, does it? So, okay, yeah. so... Ah, oh, okay, all right, yeah, okay. I think I've got a, I think I've got a title for a podcast. So, <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. need that clickbait, Max. Get the people in, get the people in. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we've got the Famer, we've got the San Remo U, we've got the ECM Synchronica... We've got uh, the Victoria Arduino, Eagle One Prima, although I think that's still meant for more businessy type things, more, more small commercial operations. So is the Faema. But you know what? So is the Linea Mini. Spend a little bit more, you can get the Rocket R9, which is a top-of-the-line rocket, or the rocket, the rocket I've got, which is the R58, which is a bit different. But again, that's, then you're saving money. And yeah. the question is, are you really giving up a lot? I'm giving up, I'm going for an E61 group head over a, um, over a saturated group head. It Fair enough. Different. But 
I've got a control panel where I can go tap, tap, change the temperature in a second. With the Lamazocco, I've got to find my phone, get my phone out, unlock my phone, find the app, open the app, do, <coughs> do the upgrade on the app because it probably want, needs an upgrade or whatever. Go in there, go to the right menu. I'm like, oh, God, did I just want to change the temperature up a degree? However, it's not something that would happen quickly. Anyway. Well, the temperature. Yeah. No, it isn't. But the thing is, Zion and I talk about this all the time. I really think to a lot of people, I thought it was me. I think a lot of people um, are like me where coffee moves beyond just I'm making an espresso to, to something where we enjoy the process. Really mm. take a look on the, you know, the videos that people make and even on the Instagram or even what people are saying. People take a lot of, of pride over, you know, their workstation, how it is and their workflow. Everyone talks about the workflow. And for me, I got to say, this is a huge part of it, the workflow. And the Lamazocco, as it stands, as the machine stands using it, I understand from everybody I've spoken to, they like the workflow. They like the pattern. They like this and the other. Until you get to the point where you need to do something that requires you to access the app. Then they stop liking it. And mm. so I think the lesson is, and I, I, I can see this, what I do for a living, you know, some of the things that I do for a living um, are, are in technology. And one of the, the things we learned years ago, which I think the um, espresso equipment company might be learning now, is that you can build things that look cool, but you've got, you, you've got, in fact, I just heard, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Google CEO talking today on Bloomberg Television. Satya, not Satya Nadella, he's Microsoft One. Uh, Sundar Pichai. Mr. Sundar Google. Pichai. Yeah, Mr. He's, not Mr. he's not Mr. Google. He's, he's, they've all retired onto an island. Uh, I'm not even joking. They've got, yeah. Mr. Google. So Pinchai, Sundar, Sundar Pinchai. So uh, he's, he was on there today and they were asking about the future. And he said, I'd ask him about Meta and Facebook. And he was kind of basically saying that they're inventing a technology and then trying to get people to use it. He said, that doesn't work. And he's absolutely right. You don't invent something that looks cool and go, look, I've got a cool thing. Now, now use it. What you do is you understand what people want and you build the ultimate experience for what they want. Yeah. And I think the coffee industry has kind of gone the wrong way by like, hey, you know what? You know what we can do now? We can make an app. We can make our machines talk to an app on the phone. Let's do it. And, and with the hope that's going to kind of extend the lifetime of their machines. Mm -hmm. And all that happens is I think people are going to, they're not into it. They're not into, they don't want to join another social network to share their coffee recipes with the world. All they want to do is get down in the morning, have a nice workflow and make their coffee mm -hmm. and push a button, have a bit of control. And that's why that it, although the San Remo U, I think has got an app, it also has everything on the, has everything on the, on the control panel. And exactly. that's where it, you need it, to have it, it. I agree with you on that. It doesn't need to be connected. They don't need no. to be connected. These things they, they, there's no point. No, unless, unless you give me the opportunity of downloading recipes but that requires that requires a full integrated workflow because you can download the recipe you can download uh suggested temperatures from brewers but then how do you determine the grind setting and the grind setting is going to be variable all the time unless you start in introducing physical measurements of the of the grind distance of the of the distance between the birds which mm. is going to drive the prices crazy well we can i tell you I, I it's almost as if you watch one of my videos on whilst uh, whilst you're on holiday uh, I, I imagined you on a beach somewhere but oh, i yeah, did a, I did a, <laughs> I did a i did a i did a a conversation about the um the myself uh, we had a, oh God, did we disagree? Um, <laughs> we had, we had, uh, I, was, used to, I used to have multiple personalities, but now we're fine. Uh, but, uh, but now we've agreed to, uh, to yeah, do yeah. it. Now we're fine. But now we're all together fine. So, um, yeah, we're talking about the, the Malconi. Oh, um, yeah, I remember that one. Yes. Okay, X54. Yeah. And in there, I, I pointed out that they've made it Wi Fi connected or Bluetooth. Well, I think it's, no, it's Wi Fi. It was Wi Fi. Right, it's a yes. Wi-Fi connected grinder for Wi-Fi. No, no, yeah, exactly. 
why? It's the why not Fi. I, I don't know. You know, they, they, I just really think they can do updates. Can you imagine? What my do you TV... update in a grinder? It's can I just say? Attached to a... oh, I just think, get me on my televisions. My television updates itself now, my LG, and, mm-hmm. and that gives me ads on my freaking television. I turn it on and it goes, hey, Nick, just to let you know, now you can use Amazon. You know, would you like to shop? Would you like to update? You know, would you go and like to go and check out this app? I'm like, no, oh, I, I wanted to. I'm watching. I'm watching Ricky Gervais, pal. Get, <laughs> sling your hook. Jog on. I don't want to get ads on my TV. Next thing we know, we're getting ads on the Malconi grinder. I, honestly, <laughs> if you put it on, it'll be like, hey, Nick, I've got a special deal for you today. I can see it because they've got LCD panels on there. Anyway, what I said on there was the only reason why I think the grinder should have a, uh, a Wi-Fi connection and they shouldn't put it in until they can do this is when it talks, in fact, it doesn't need a Wi-Fi, it needs Bluetooth, is when it talks to the coffee machine and, and with that communication, mm-hmm. you do your grind, you make your brew. And by the way, when someone does this, please send me a check because I do need the money. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, when they, when they, they do their grind, they pull their shot, it goes, <laughs> goes everywhere and you think, oh, messed it up. And the grinder knows. And it says, ooh, that was, that was basically, <laughs> the, goes, that was the, the grinder just, just, just put, does a face palm and goes, yeah, 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 just go, idiot, uh, let me sort this out for you mm-hmm. and can get you into the zone yep. automatically. And that is, I think, a useful communication. But how, does the grinder, uh, uh, how does the grinder adjust for the dose and for, this, for the coffee prep? Well, it, it can't adjust for the, well, it can adjust the dose. Yes. You know the basket by, you're putting in. It can easily work that out. Yes, you can. But uh, no, actually, no, unless you say it. Um, no, you can work it out. Look, my, my phone, my simple camera on my phone has got um, depth perception on it, and it can work out depths and, and distances yes, and things. But that's put it a in very there. expensive thing. I was thinking of a barcode. It's software. It's just software. It's, yeah, not it's expensive a very expensive thing to, to add because you need to add a camera, you need to add perception. Look, I can, How about sorry. a barcode, a barcode no. scanner? No, it's no. Pounds. No, well, okay, maybe, whatever. But the thing is, they could do it. Do you see, have you seen those Malconics now with the, they go purple and they got all the lights and they shine and it makes your grind look orange and purple and things. No, and they got like, they all, haven't seen that. And they got fancy rainbows that come up on the display system. You're doing it like, oh, I just want, just grind my coffee, mate. No. Uh, don't no, stop. I haven't I, seen I, I that don't want... I don't want to see that. But, but... Like going to Blackpool. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that'll be lost on everybody in the international audience. Yeah. Ha- however, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to just let that one sink in. Have you ever been however, to Blackpool? It's disappointing. Um, yeah, I have been once, but yeah. not, not to do anything. Uh, no yeah, one I'm goes go twice. That's, <laughs> That's the thing. No, you never go back, of course. Um... I forgot. What were you saying, Max? Ah, yes. So you would need to add uh, weight controls. It, it, it gets expensive very quickly. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Not sure I agree with it. Well, because it's a cost. You're thinking about commercially. I'm I saying... Mean, they, already com- cost, they already cost a million, million golden pounds. So I, I don't really know how you can add... No, you don't need to do all of that. You don't need to do all of that. Look, you, you've got your, no, you don't need to do all of that. Let me tell you, it, 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 all it knows, it grind, it had this setting last time. It was grinding at whatever, you know, uh, fineness parameter that you mm-hmm. set for X number of seconds. And it came out too fast. It came out like this, right? Okay. So sends an information back, probably a little bit more sophisticated information that goes back. And the grinder can at least go, you know what? Yeah, it should. It was like this. Let's go and make it a bit finer. Let's go and adjust the grind settings so that we've just got the same quantity of coffee as we're putting out last time, but we're going to make it a bit finer or whatever. I, I, I think smarter people than me can work that out, but I think that would be at least a, a reason for having some communication with the, with the espresso machine, whereas um, having Wi-Fi connected to do updates on firmware, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that, you know? The Russians will be all over your kitchen. I'm telling you. Um, I, have, um, I have a confession to make. Is it the right place to do this, Max? <laughs> uh, okay. I, let, me get ready have, the, um, let me get ready with the bleeper. Okay. Yeah. 
I have a, I have done a, a, a boo boo a few days ago. Right. I was a little tired, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to share my screen to show the the the, the, the machine that I, I have. So mm -hmm. I have a Gaja Pyros. Mm -hmm. that has, it's a lovely machine as well. Yeah, actually, it, it looks really lovely, and yeah. it has. It's very symmetrical. You have the grinder housed in a black circular piece of plastic at the back mm -hmm. that resembles exactly the same shape as the transparent piece of plastic that houses the water tank. So mm -hmm. that's a water tank. And they look the same. So it's very symmetrical. It looks really nice on the eye. And on top, you have um, a flat surface with uh, two exactly looking, um, exactly matching uh, leads that you can mm -hmm. lift off in one you put the water and in one you put the, the coffee now mm -hmm. now there are some days where you need coffee to function and you realize that there's no water in the machine mm -hmm. so you open the lid and you pour water in the machine mm -hmm. only to realize that you actually poured water in the grinder <laughs> oh Oh, I just love to see you. Can you next so time? So I have done you... that. And you know, when you are too committed to do, when doing something, you realize you're doing something stupid, but you can't stop. Yeah. So I was there just pouring water like that and going, oh my God, no, no, no. No, no let no. me just finish. Yeah. Oh no. So there was a pint of water going <laughs> through the machine. Through the grinder. Came out squeaky clean. It's one way I haven't cleaning. used it since. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Mm. But I suppose mm. <laughs> that's why they don't do that anymore. That's possibly why they changed that design. And I do think that uh, I do think that there is this opportunity if Lamazaka was to make a change to the machine that they could fix some of the boo boos that they did. Not boo boos. They could fix some of the things that weren't perfect. I know some of the yeah. people at Lamazaka. I mean, actually, me and the Lamazaka guys are like that. Well, yeah, um, I, I agree. And they could they could they could they could, they could make some improvements. And yeah. one of them. Facelift. They, facelift, sure, maybe. I mean, yeah, yeah, they could change the design. They have functional to the design. facelift, I mean. So you do the same model, you it's still a linear mini, but well, can it. I just say that that the guy that the designer at Lamazaco is a lovely guy called Stefano. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing, Stefano? Where have you been? <laughs> I, I I I haven't seen anything new come out in a while. I think you're starting to slack. Uh, so this could be an opportunity for you to to uh, you know get back in the swing of things. So definitely uh, they could they could do the design and I, I, mm -hmm. you know making an iconic design. Don't use, use that word. I want to use that word because it's it's so no. rarely used. Don't use um, that word. I, I'm sick to, of it. To to reimagine the iconic design of a Lamazaka machine is not How something straightforward. Uh, yeah, and I'm unmutable. Um, uh, was and, the big machine, and, and so there would be that. But there were a few things that, that that people that people don't like about it that they could have an opportunity to fix. So one of them is talking about the water. Uh, when the water runs out on, on, it's a rotary pump machine, and you know what they do? They they when it's if you're running from the tank mm -hmm. and it runs dry, you 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 stop the machine to protect the to protect the boiler. But that, you know, why do you stop the machine? Literally, why do you wait to the point where it's like, oh, I'm going to cut it off? Because the amount of times it happens to people mid-shot and then just really annoys them. Like, why not tell them before and like have another shot in there or two shots in there before mm -hmm. you say, so you flash the light that says, hey, fill up the water tank. And then they've got a shot in there at least before they have to do it rather than say, hey, fill up the water tank and I'm going to stop that extraction yeah, right because now. Because it will happen yeah. when you're using it. It, it does. It's, not it's Sod's that, law. I mean, it's, we know this. This is the out. universal law of, of Sod, right? No, it, it's physically. Oh. There's not, the, the volume in the tank is not going to change unless you're using it. Right, right. So unless you have exactly the right amount, which is impossible, Yeah, it, you will run out of water while you're using it. So the, you're bound to waste a coffee if it stops. No, but you can have, you can have uh, sensors. Yes. Inside the tank, so you know when it hits to a particular level. Uh, that's My rocket one. has that. My yeah, rocket has that's, that. Yeah. That's one. Um, th there are two ways, actually. You can actually add a level, mm -hmm. a, water, a water tank level on the side, which looks yeah. nice. Yeah. That's obviously probably the best option. Or you can have, um, you can have as you said, a reservoir. So the coffee machine is not going to make another coffee 
after it's going after it's gone into uh, emergency mode, so no water, but there is enough water for for two coffees. Mm-hmm. Two mm-hmm. You have you have that that reservoir, and that's I fine. think you're missing. Look, it's, they, those are okay ideas, Max. I don't want to I don't want to disparage you. Uh, you're doing very very well. You've missed the obvious one, which is of course what it does is it it if they, if it was just Wi-Fi connected, what it could do is it could tweet you. Uh, when it hits to a certain level, it could send you a Twitter message to say, hey, Max, uh, please fill me up. Yeah, I have another one. <laughs> I have another one, even better. <laughs> please, to, actually, to, God, have I wish people, I... to have people make better coffee, uh-huh. the coffee machine is connected to the, um, to the um, social media, all of the yeah. social media, so Instagram, uh, uh-huh. Facebook, uh-huh. Twitter. Yeah. If you do a bad coffee, you yeah. take a picture of it and post it. And post it and say, yeah. "Look what, look what name surname." Well, you should shame them into making the, better coffee. Yeah, this is the right yeah, way forward. I mean, there were those. I'm not even joking. There were scales that yeah. you weighed yourself that used to tweet your weight every morning, and you, it was the idea behind it was that you'd be shamed into losing weight. Uh, so this is a this how is many a tried did they sell? It? But just the one. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, and it was guy. bought, and it was bought by the mother of the inventor. <laughs> no, she didn't want it. Uh, so <laughs> so Lamazaka could they could they could fix this thing up a little bit. They've got that right. They've got um, an annoying rattle when you're on the on the cup holders. Everyone complains about the rattle. It's a quiet machine. The rotary pump's quiet, uh-huh. but it vibrates on the top. So you which is kind of a, uh, okay. Yeah, which is annoying. You can fix that. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would love what? to see mm-hmm. is actually brew by weight. They could put brew by weight in there. They could have a little touch panel, and then they can go back to selling it for lots of money again and make a new. Uh, people would buy it. Everybody buy touch it. panel. It can actually be a um, no, but they, a, a, just a not touch LCD, panel, but a, an LCD, some a readout with, with a knob, with a knob, not not with three buttons, with a bloody knob. not calculator buttons and no function, yeah. no like F one, like the oh, what's that annoying thing that everyone said was going to be amazing, and then I hated it, and no one bought it anymore. Uh, the God. The Gaggia Classic Pro, no, Ranchilio. Ranchilio. no, no, I'm about to say the, the, yeah, the, the competitor to it, yeah. the Ranchilio with its, with its Texas Instruments interface, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't hear much about that anymore, do we? No, it's, it's a good machine, but that, that it's a good machine with a terrible s- interface. Yes, very silly choices for interface, but anyway, that we're talking about the Linear Mini, so yeah, brew by weight, that would be amazing. Uh, brew by volume, great. Pressure profile, no, that's a little too much. Yeah, leave the pressure profiling out. That can go into the GS3. So I would create a nice separation. I wouldn't make it, well, this would be me. I would Actually, say- not even pressure profile, flow profile. That's that's not pressure profile. Uh, yeah, okay, the, flow the, profiling. The GS3 has flow profiling, not- uh, Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's or not even sophisticated actually, profile. You know what? Pressure profiling. You can cut that, you can change the extraction pressure, you can change the resistance in the in the overpressure valve. See, I think I think that they will need to update the GS3 at the same time they update the linear mini. And I should, oh, yeah. I think they should create a nice separation. And it's like, okay, if you're gonna go and use this in business, GS3. You want one for home, linear mini. True. However, flow profiling and pressure profiling, they achieve the same results. So you can get the same thing. With the with two di- in two different ways because you change the flow the flow rate through the, the flow anyway. effectively in the pressure there's a al- there's a relationship between the two yeah. isn't there yeah exactly so ha- anyway however you can always put the the pressure profiling on the GS3 because it's a transferable feature as long as you can fit it in the machine physically mechanically you can put it in a place where yeah, you can but access it's, it it's not um it's not a feature thing it's a it's a marketing thing. It's kind of like a, we've got to separate and, and get people to pay more for the professional version. Then you know? there you go. I, I'm not uh, a salesperson, so no, no, we know um, that. Yeah. So then, anyway, so that's. I mean, I think that kind of really much wraps it up. That was those are my thoughts. So if somebody's saying, "Should I buy a Lena Mini right now?" I'd say, "Look, it's a great machine. It makes if just as good yes, coffee. It's not going to lose money. It's not going to lose it's, value anyway." Well, no, probably not. It's it's. You know, but it it will. It, you do have to maintain them. Um, it makes great coffee. 
like it used to, but I kind of feel like there's other choices out there now. You don't, you know, and maybe some of those choices are better. Yeah. You can shop around. Yeah. If it was me personally, if it was like my money and I, I always try to spend someone else's money and Mm. that's my rule. Uh, But if I have to spend my own money, uh, I would not buy a Lena Mini right now. I I would, I would, I would get, I personally, I'd go for the San Remo U. Oh yeah. Um, or or if that didn't exist in a different you know universe and that wasn't even around and an option anymore, I would. Uh, what would I do? What would I do? I mean, I might go for Eagle the, One Prima. I would. I like the way that whole thing. I don't know. It's expensive though. What? Do you know for for? I'm just thinking. You know for 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 under two grand, I can get a Lelit Bianca. For two and a half grand, I can get a that really nice powdered black ECM Synchronica. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, or I could spend, you know, even less money. What was it? Uh, about 1500 quid or something. Get that Puristica, the ECM Puristica mm-hmm. with a bit of, with a flow profiling knob just to play around with. You know, there's, there's, the there's Puristica options out there. Do, doesn't do steam though. I don't need steam. What do I you need don't. steam for? You don't, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, but but here's I tell you what, uh tell you what, uh, what? there are new <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> there are new uh there's 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 new things coming out from Steam World. There are new separate uh steaming mm-hmm. things. And we've seen some that like you know, you can go to the Amazon and get it for I don't know, hundred quid or eighty quid or something. Yeah, there were but, uh, a number. There's always been around they've always been around. Right. There but interestingly, there's now coming commercial steaming systems that you can attach onto a com- onto a coffee machine Ooh, wow yeah um it's called one of it's, it's called one of them i've seen is called moose something moose you moose like moose love moose something moose and you attach it you i think you actually connect it in but the the point of them is that it does like the like the sage or the brevels it does an automatic steaming of the milk but a much more sophisticated version so that yeah, very so that sophisticated. very sophisticated. So that if you're in a coffee shop and you don't really want to train your baristas to, you know, because they're coming and going and it's very difficult to get staff nowadays. You get them, you train them, they leave, now they go somewhere else, get someone else. So I think the idea is perfect timing. You put one of those things in and it just textures your milk apparently very, very well. Um, yes. Probably not at a price point for the home user yet. But I mean, with the money you've saved, I think options will be around what i'm saying yeah i don't know how much they cost so yeah (laughs) yeah yeah um so so there we go i mean actually you know what is a good steaming machine if you're again it depends if you're steaming back to back again the linear mini has amazing powerful steam back to back to back without losing it but who needs that whereas the decent one of the things i saw on that that steam is is instant and dry mm-hmm. instant and dry steam i mean it won't go on like the linear for coffee after coffee but you know i only you know, we make i don't have coffee after coffee i have a coffee after the coffee and then that's it yeah so exactly. you have to place the as we always say as i always end up saying you have to place them in the right environment you have to think what you're going to use them for and do they answer your needs do you really need a top end machine or a normal normal machine will do the right stuff for you because you know what yeah. a, a gadget classic is capable of great espresso it no, is. not 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 great espresso it's capable of good espresso you put you can put well it depends on what kind of espresso you're making exactly if, if you've got a lighter roast and you want to extract you know the nuanced clarity of apricot maybe not but I, I disagree with that. You can put a lot of things. You can tune it if you want. You can put a PID. You can. Yeah. Change. No. Okay. No. You're talking about modding it. I. I. I, uh-huh. I made this. Thing. If you take it out of the box. Out of the box. Okay. Yes. Uh. That's that's a different thing then. Out of the box, most of the machines you can buy for home use, they're not set up right on on the no. on the overpressure part. It's, it, that's one of the things. So you will have to mod it. However, once you mod it, it's it's going to be not at the same at the same level, but I don't think you're going to find that much difference in terms of extraction because you know what? It's hot water 
through coffee at a certain pressure, at a certain flow rate. I, I'm going to disagree. I, I, I tell you what, um, I was very happy with my Gaggia Classic Pro, which I modded with a PID, with yeah. the OPV at, uh, at, at, at nine bar and all of that. I was very happy with it until I got my rocket and it made much better espresso. Absolutely. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. But you have trained your mouth, your perceptions, your extraction. So, you yeah, know, for a lot of people, yeah, maybe. In, you have to place them in the, right, in the right market, in the right house, in the right environment. Yeah, so that's another that's another video we could do, Max. Is like what's going to happen with the Gaggia Classic Pro? Because I yeah. reckon that those you know that's another video. Yeah, but that's not going to go anywhere. It hasn't gone anywhere in the last forty years. <laughs> Will it ever die, Max? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my friend. Listen, that was absolutely great. Great to see you again. Uh, we're gonna, we've got two thumbs up from Max and, um, yeah, well, only we'll, two, uh, only uh, two. Yeah. I was hoping for three, but okay, we'll stick with the two. No, no, <laughs> don't put the three up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up with you very soon. All right.